demonology and witchcraft. And about 14 years earlier, look at that. There's the third book of demonology. There are three books of demonology in here. The second book of demonology, a description of sorcery and witchcraft by none other than King James, as in King James Bible. This book does not disappoint when you open it. Look at that. Over 400 years old. Look at that. 1611, first edition. King James. Bible. But did you know before King James got involved in the printing of this Bible, he was fascinated or tortured or bothered by witches. So what does he do? He writes a book on demonology and witchcraft. And about 14 years earlier, look at that. There's the third book of demonology. There are three books of demonology in here. The second book of demonology, a description of sorcery and witchcraft by none other than King James, as in King James Bible. This book does not disappoint wrote a book basically telling you of the dangers of witchcraft. He didn't write a book uh, uplifting witchcraft. He actually was coming against demonology and witchcraft. That was what the book was about. All right. The uh, demonology, new forms of Scotland. All right. So he wrote a book basically telling you of the dangers of witchcraft. He didn't write a book uh, uplifting witchcraft. He actually was coming against demonology and witchcraft. That was what the book was about. All right. Someone tried to. Did you know King James? Man, and people. And then something that I bring out all. It's the book of Jude, <clears throat> verse 24. Know unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy to the only wise power, our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and ever, so be it. Giving all praises, all honor, and all glory to the Heavenly Father. And his only begotten son, Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rechaha Kodash. The honor to my teachers, the apostles, the elders, and the bishops of Great Millstone, who watch over our souls. Shalom to the Yakim, who avoid it are sincere and serious doing the will of Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rechaha Kodash. Second Peter chapter one, verse one or two to you all. Stay strong, stay mighty. I'm the brother, the disciple Kusha Banyamia from the branch in Great Millstone, Barbados. So I just want the response. Um, just want the response. King James the first demonology news from Scotland. I actually um, <coughs> had someone come to camp it was going three weeks ago saying that King James wrote a satanic Bible, right? So, you know what I mean? Um, it never, it, it never said, it never uh, sat well with me, is right? Because this man was heavily, heavily influenced by the spirit of Yahweh. Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father. Bahasham in the name of his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, right? We teach out of the King James Bible, he said. So he didn't write, and you heard the other Malcolm I hear say it. Let me play it again. Let me play it again. basically telling you of the dangers of witchcraft. He didn't write a book uh, uplifting witchcraft. He actually was coming against demonology and witchcraft. That was what the book was about. All right. 
Right. So, curiosity got the best of me, and I um, went on Google. I see here King James first demonology in the form of a dialogue, fifteen ninety seven. News from Scotland, fifteen ninety one. So, um, the kind of damnable life and death of well that body is blah 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 so we get to the point um demonology in form of a dialogue right i see i see i can do this i mean do it in two such two parts because there's a lot of info right a lot a lot of info um, for the sake of time, I'm gonna make it too long, right? I you see here 136 pages, right? So he fearful a bondage at this time in this country of these detestable slaves of the devil, the witches or enchanters have moved me, beloved reader to dispatch and post this following treaties of mine not in any ways as I protest to serve for a show of my learning an engine for ingenuity that would be where ingenuity come from right but only move of conscience so it was bothering King James his conscience was bothering him of these people slaves of the devil you say to move it more conscious to to press or to priest thereby as far as I can to resolve the doubting hearts of many both that such assault assaulties of Satan are more certainly practiced so the key word here is assaulties right let's go back to the word um, they still go here. Um, let me see. I had it here, right? Let me go back here. I see it. Uh, I had it here, so I can't um, Yeah. Assault, assault, you go to the word assault, right? Hit, strike, slot, etc. But we keep on going. Um, bombard with something undesirable or unpleasant. Um, from English, Middle English, from Old French, a suit. As the keyword there, a suit. Noun, a suit, verb. Based on Latin ad, which means to uh, salt to rear preventative of salaire to leap compared with a seal so there you go by here so this is this is this is um devices that people were using to practice rich crap right so a suit a concerted attempt to do something demanding alright I had another definition here. Oh, so I had another definition there, my brother. Basically, is a is a is a practice, right? Is a practice demanding, right? I think I think it had it there. Um, To leap upon, right? I had another definition somewhere. A suit, an unlawful physical attack or threat of attack of an individual without actual injury. So, 
it's something you put into practice, right? So let me go by here. Down in the hearts of many, both that the practices, right, of Satan are more certainly practices, right? Or the works, right? The works. And that the instruments thereof merits more severely to be punished, you see? So King James wasn't fascinated that like you heard the Edomites here of witches and, and uh, sorcerers. He was warning, he was warning the beloved readers, you see? He was warning us, right? That such devices of Satan are more certainly practiced and that the instruments thereof merits more severely to be punished. And we go to the we go to the law, right? Um, Exodus twenty two, uh, verse eighteen. <clears throat> Thou shalt not suffer a witch to live, right? See? That's one of the punishments. See? Right? Um, Leviticus 19, uh, verse 26. You shall not eat anything with blood, neither shall ye use enchantment nor observer of times. See? Verse 31. We gather not them that have familiar spirits. Need to seek after wizards to be defiled by them. I am Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah, your power. You see? So he is in the law. So King James wasn't endorsing demonology, he was warning us against it. He says, um, against the damnable opinions of two principally in our age, whereof. The one called Scott, an Englishman, is not ashamed in public print to deny that there can be such a thing as witchcraft and so maintains the old error of the Sadducees in denying of spirits. The other called Vyers Voivers, if you're saying that correctly, a German physician sets out a public apology for all these craft craft folks, whereby procuring for their impertin impunity he plainly he plainly bewrays himself to have been one of that profession. And for to make this treatise the more pleasant and facile, I have put it in the form of a dialogue which I have divided into three books. You heard it, you might say, right? The first, speaking of mad magic in general and necromancy in special, I think there's a preset on that. Um, I think there's, let me see. Uh, Necromancy. I think the priest upon that. Do the one me eighteen <coughs> and um let me start at verse ten. Let me go to verse nine. When thou art come into the land which the Lord thy power giveth thee, thou shalt not learn to do after the abominations keyword there of the nations. There shall not be found among you anyone that maketh his son or his daughter to pass through the fire, or that use divination, or an observer of times, or an enchanter, or a witch, or a charmer, or a consulter with familiar spirits, or a wizard, or a necromancer. For all that do these things are an abomination unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai. And because of these abominations, the Lord Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, thy power that drive them out from before thee. Thou shalt be perfect 
If Yahweh Bar Hashem, Yahweh Shai, thy power. Verse 14, for these nations, which these people, which thou shalt possess, hearkened unto observer of times, and unto diviners. But as for thee, the Lord thy power have not suffered thee to do so. See? So this is Deuteronomy, second book of the law, telling us to don't deal with nothing so. See? Um, the second of sorcery and witchcraft, and the third contains a discourse of all these kinds of spirits and scepters that appears and troubles and troubles persons together with a conclusion of the whole world. My intention in this labor is only to prove two things, as I have already said. The one that such devilish arts have been and are the other what exact trial and severe punishment they merit and therefore reason I what kind of things are possible to be performed in these arts and by what natural causes they may be not that I touch every particular thing of the devil's power for that were infinite but only to speak scholastically like a scholar since this cannot be spoken in our language I reason upon genus leaving leaving species and differentia to be comprehended therein as for example speaking of the power of magicians in the first book and sixth chapter I say that they can suddenly cause be brought unto them all kinds of dainty dishes by their familiar spirit since as a thief he since as a thief he delights to steal and as a spirit he can subtly and subtly enough transport the same now under now under this genus may be comprehended all particulars depending thereupon such as the bringing wine out of a wall as we have heard of to have been practiced and such others which particulars are, suf are sufficiently proved by the reasons of the, the general and such like in the second book of which craft in special and fifth chapter fifth chapter I think that what I was saying there yeah? I say and prove by diverse arguments that riches can, by the power of their master, cure or cast on diseases. Now by these same reasons that proves their power by the, de by the devil of diseases in general, it as well proves their power in special as of weakening the nature of some men <coughs> to make them vulnerable, to make them unable for women and making it to abound in others more than the ordinary course of nature would permit and such like in all other particular sicknesses but the one thing I will pray thee to observe in all these places where I reason upon the devil's power which is the different ends and scopes that God as the first cause and the devil as his instrument and second cause shoots in at shoots at in all these actions of the devil as God's hang man. So one of riches on warlock is going to Shatan. But really Shatan works for the Mosai. For where the devil's intentions in them is ever to perish, either the soul or the body or both of them, that he is so permitted to deal with, God by the contrary draws ever up of that evil glory to himself, either by the wreck of the wicked in his justice or by the trial of the patient and amendment of the faithful being wakened up with that rod of correction. I can stop there.
Let me get two presets, then they get shot shot there, right? <coughs> so you have any files and control of everything brother. This side. I get into the book of uh, Job, Job chapter 1, Job chapter 1, uh, 6. Now there was a day when the sons of God came to present themselves before the Lord, and Satan came also among them. What are you doing there? Are you on the earth? In hell? Huh? Burning up souls? Or that episode of South Park? He bullying Saddam Hussein. Anyhow, and the Lord said unto Satan, When it's coming down, then Satan answered the Lord and said, From going to and fro in the earth and from walking up and down in it. And the Lord said unto Satan, Hast thou considered my servant Job, that there is none like him in the earth, a perfect and a bright man, one that feareth the most high and escheweth evil? Then Satan answered the Lord and said, Doth Job fear God for naught? Has thou not made an hedge about him? Has not thou, Salakia, made a hedge about him, and about his house, and about all that he have on every side? Thou hast blessed the work of his hands, and the substance is increasing the land. But put forth thy hand now, and touch all that he have, and he will curse thee to thy face. And the Lord Yahweh said unto Satan, Behold, all that he have is in thy power. Only upon himself put not forth thy hand. You hear that? So Satan went forth from the presence of the Lord. You hear that? So the Lord tells Satan, listen, go along, but don't kill him. Don't kill him. He destroyed his crops, he destroyed his livestock, his 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 his, his family, his his his, his uh, mansions was burned down. Satan allowed, you see? He was allowed to test Job. Why? Because he had the answer to the heavenly for the hour. <coughs> you understand? It's like here. You see? And you see this, the, the, the uh, test here that happened to him, right? His health went, so see them went and he, 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 he um, see them went and test Job to see if Job would turn his back on his power, I we go back here. God, by the contrary, draws everyone, draws out of that evil glory to himself. Right? Amos 3 and 7. Let me get that there quick. Right? Amos chapter 3. Amos chapter 3. <coughs> Sorry, verse 6. Shall the trumpet be blown in the city, and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil? Evil means bad times in the city, and the Lord have not done it. You see? But God, by the contrary, draws ever out of that evil glory to himself, either by the wreck of the wicked in his justice. The word wreck means to destroy. Right? Or by the trial of the patient, like Job and many others, the Apostle Paul, you know what I mean? You have a shy, right? The faithful prophets. And amendment by the faithful being wakened up with that role of correction. See? You see? So I can stop there. I can stop there. I can stop there. Um, see? Hey, to what you have about Hashem, you have a shy. You know, he, 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 he um, cause like I said, it was, it was on my mind, it was bothering me, you know what I mean? And then, Spirit had me watch as a Malcolm uh, video, right? So, to what you have about Hashem, you have a shot, he never fears. He always answers your questions, you just gotta be patient. You say, you send your prayers, and your questions will be answered. You say? So yeah, I can end it there. Let me do a part two because there's a lot of meat. There's a lot of meat in this in this book here. You see? So I can do a part two. Lord willing. Shalom. Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Barakasam. To the elect.